Cleaning and oiling your air filter is a pretty simple task, but also pretty important. In this type lesson, I'll be showing you how I go about cleaning and oiling my air filters. To clean and re-oil the filter, we're going to need some protective gloves, some grease for the lip of the filter, filter oil, dish soap, and a bucket. A type of cleaner or degreaser will also be needed. I prefer to use solvent. Now a lot of people say not to use solvent on filters because it supposedly breaks down the glue in the filter, but I've been using it for years. I've never had a problem with that. I think uh, just don't let the solvent sit on the filter. Just wash out the solvent right away and you should be fine. First step is to remove the seat from the bike and then we're going to remove the dirty filter from the air box. So just pull the center bolt out and try not to drop any dirt in the air boot. I clean my filter after every time I ride the bike so I wash the bike at the same time. So after I pull the filter out I install a air box wash cap on there. This just prevents water from getting in the air boot. Once the air box is clean, we can take the wash cap off. And take a rag and wipe all the old grease, dirt, and water out from the air box and air boot. For this next step, you want to put gloves on. In the bucket, you want to mix the dish soap and water. This will be for the filter after we run it through the solvent tank. You just want to have it ready. Now we're going to clean the filter and the filter cage in the solvent tank. I don't know if you guys have tried the filter skin before, but I've always used them and they, they work really good. As you can see, there's a huge difference between the filter and the skin. The actual filter is way cleaner except for that one spot where the hole is on the filter skin. It's basically just having like another filter. So the purpose of the solvent tank is just to break down the oil in the filter. So just dip the filter in the solvent like five or six times until you see the oil disappearing. And don't when you're squeezing the filter, don't twist it at all because it could rip it or damage it. Right after you're done cleaning the filter in the cage in the solvent tank, you want to put it right in the bucket with the soap and the water. So it's just the same thing here. Just dip the filter in about five or six times and keep squeezing it until the water coming out is clean. At first you'll notice that the water coming out is pretty dirty. It's amazing how much dirt comes off the filter in this process so I think it's a pretty important step. After you've rinsed the filter in the cage in the bucket you want to rinse them out with water. For the filter and the filter skin, you want to let those air dry for a few days. I always rotate between filters so that way I have no downtime while I'm waiting for one to dry. For the filter cage, you can just blow that out with compressed air. Now we're ready to re-oil the filter and the filter skin. So just any major brand foam filter oil works fine. With the filter skin, dump some oil into it and work it around until you see that every piece of the filter is oiled and then you want to squeeze out any excess oil. So we're going to do the same with the main filter also. Just dump oil onto it and work it around until every part of it is oiled. It's also a good idea to wipe down the filter bolt. Get that clean. Now we're ready to put the filter back on the filter cage. So just line up the center hole and then there's two tabs that need to be lined up also. And just work the lip all the way around until it's on. I know on the filter skins you're supposed to put them on while the filter is on the bike but it doesn't really work that great that way. So I just poke a hole in the middle and you can put it on while the filter is off the bike. It works a lot better that way for me. Once the filter and the filter skin are on the cage you want to spray grease around the lip of the filter. The grease is just to help the filter seal to the air box. Now it's time to install the filter back on the bike. So you'll want to line the flat part of the filter up with the flat part on the air box. And there's also two tabs in the center of the filter that'll line up with the air box. You'll feel those snap on. And once that's on, you can install the center bolt. The final step is to then install the seat. 
So be sure to keep your filters clean, everyone. Your engine will appreciate it. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? I hope there was something you learned that might help. I've done a few of these tech lesson videos so far. The last one I did was about cleaning your bike. This box right here is linked to that video. And also, you can click this box over here if you want to subscribe to my channel.